might be F am I here? You know, we've all felt that way at some point in our lives, and some of you might feel that way right now, and it's okay. At least you're being honest with your emotions. Stay tuned, and I'll help you get through this. Namaste, my name's Greg Prescott from N5D.com, and today we're gonna to be talking about a question We've all asked ourselves at some point in our lives, why did I incarnate into this chaos? Did you ever wonder why you decided to incarnate into these lower vibrations of the third density? When we were on the other side, back with Source, life seemed to be so easy. We had the answers to all universal questions and lived in complete vibration of love. There was no dissension, hatred, ego, or financial concerns, just love. After many years of being in this vibration, you forgot what it was like to live in a third dimensional vibration, yet you were fortunate enough to have been here in at least one other previous incarnation. And you remembered how your spiritual progression was being raised exponentially by being in a world of duality. You swore to yourself that this time you would not allow the lower third dimensional vibrations to bring you down. You planned on bringing back the vibration of love with you to this planet. But your memories of being with Source were once again wiped from your immediate memories as the third dimensional brainwashing began yet again. From birth, you were indoctrinated into a system that promotes subservience, control, and conformity. You always felt cognitive dissonance over this, but weren't sure why. It seemed like everybody else was conforming to the system and this is the way it was supposed to be. You attended school and sometimes caught yourself daydreaming as if your higher self was telling you, a formal education is not what is important in life. As a child, you were taught how to play sports and learned aggressive self-serving behaviors that only reinforce the divine conquer mentality that is forced upon us by our societal expectations. You were pacified with mundane television programs that not only took you further away from who you truly are, but helped to influence what you thought, wore, ate, drank, etc. As you grew older, you started to discover how corrupt this system has become on Earth. Not only in your home country, but all over this planet. What difference at this point does it make? You begin to seek answers to questions that are not taught in school, such as what is the origin of human existence and why are there so many opposing religions when there's only one source. You became trapped in a system that relies on monetary success in order to survive, making you an economic slave to the few that control the many. Unknowingly, you became part of that system. So why did I decide to incarnate into this chaos? Every one of these situations gave you a chance to learn and grow spiritually. For a while, you simply forgot how these challenges would benefit you. You knew that at some point in this incarnation, you would awaken to find your true self along with your purpose for being here. It seems so easy on the other side of the veil when you were with Source. You wanted to make millions of soul contracts because they all seemed so easy to achieve while you're in the presence of Source. Instead, you listened 
to source and ended up making thousands of soul contracts, which all seemed achievable in this lifetime. Some of these soul contracts involved people who you would only meet for a brief minute, but somehow they changed your life or you changed theirs. They helped to lead you back to your path of enlightenment or vice versa. While you may never personally know these people, you were best friends with them when you were back with Source. Did you ever see someone for the first time and just know that you've known this person from somewhere? Chances are you did know this person when you were back with Source. Many times we will have karmic debts to process and resolve. For example, if you were hit by your parents when you were a child, it's quite possible that you were the one hitting your parents in a previous lifetime. This gives us the opportunity to not only end this cycle of karma, but to forgive everyone involved, including yourself. The trick is to look at painful situations and ask yourself, why did this happen to me? You might not like the answer, but oftentimes, but not every time, we invite these situations into our present lives in order to address unresolved karmic issues from past lives. You also wanted to come back to be part of the great awakening and the shift in consciousness. We are at a point in time where our planets are completing a 26,000 year cycle called the procession of the equinoxes. We're also at the end of a greater cycle in which our solar system has completed its revolution around its own sun called Alcyon. You said to yourself, there is no way I'm going to miss out on this. Besides, you forgot what it was like to experience duality and polarity. In the end, this chaos has been an amazing experience filled with an abundance of opportunities for spiritual growth. If you willingly decide to come back here in another incarnation, look for this video. Remember, you are the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and N5D.net. Sending you all infinite love and light. Namaste.